Hello Year 6 and welcome to this short transition video introducing you to the wondrous subject that is geography at the Garibaldi School. My name is Mr Brennan and I'm the lead teacher of geography and I've worked at the Garibaldi School for 14 years now. And I genuinely love both the school but also teaching young people geography and hopefully by the time you leave Garibaldi you will love the subject just as much as me. I'm not the only geography teacher. There were three other members of uh, staff, all subject specialists. We've got Mr. Voice, Miss Scott, and Mr. Hales. And one of the four of us will be your geography teacher in year seven. So if we were to do a transition event, what would happen would be that young people would ask me generally two questions. One would be, what is geography? And the second would be, what will my lessons be like in year seven? So what is geography? Well, geography is the study of the physical features of the earth and of the human activity that affects and is affected by it. But what does that mean? Well, there's two main parts to geography, physical and human. Physical geography is the way the planet acts. What causes earthquakes, volcanoes, tsunamis? Why does it rain? They're physical processes that we don't have any impact on whatsoever. The human features, though, or the human geography, is all to do with the seven and a half billion of us on the planet. Where we live, why we live there, how we respond to natural disasters, how we try and control things that are the physical features of the earth. So really, it's a fascinating journey into how and why the planet works together, people and physical processes. In terms of your lessons, we try and make them as exciting as possible. We'll always do them based around a question. So at the end of that lesson, you should be able to walk out knowing the answer to something you didn't know at the start. And you'll get two of these lessons each week. In terms of the topics covered in Year 7, well, there's some really, really exciting and challenging geography. We make the work challenging and we make it difficult so that ultimately when you finally learn it, you can do it. You feel really clever and proud of your achievements. So we start with your passport to geography. You've got to earn this. This is an introductory topic. You'll do some work with atlases and maybe some maps. You'll make a decision. Where would you put a, a, a new airport in Mansfield? But equally, you'll be introduced to some terms like sustainability. And by the end of it, you should be able to explain some things like why does chopping down trees in Brazil lead to more coastal erosion on the northeast coast of the UK. That's completely different places. How does this happen? Then we'll look at world development. Development is looking at the differences between high income countries and low income countries, some of the more emerging economies in the world. How do we know what's life like for somebody your age maybe in, in one of the African nations? And we'll have a look at how that is working globally. We then look at two biomes, hot deserts, where we look at how people live and the opportunities that they take, even though they are hot deserts, places where you would think no one lives. And then we'll introduce you to something called a DME. A DME is a decision-making exercise. It's really central to the geography curriculum. It underpins all the work we do, because ultimately what we want you to be able to do as a geographer is explain what you would do and why you would do it. So we'll look at the tropical rainforest in Brazil, the Amazon rainforest, and you'd look at how is the best way to manage this rainforest. We'll give you a variety of options, and you've got to decide why you would do that. We then look somewhere closer to home. We'll look at tourism in the Lake District, and some of you may well have been to the Lake District. Uh, it's a beautiful place. It's been created thousands of years ago the hills and the lakes by uh, glaciation. So another, again, another physical process is having an impact on humans because we now use it for tourism. And the final topic we'll look at is globalization and your place in the world. Globalization is how the world's getting smaller. It's not literally getting smaller, but we're getting more connected. And this is shown by a range of things. If you've got an Apple phone, have a look. Where was it designed? Where was it made? If you've got your new school blazer or your new school shoes, where were they made? Have a look where your TV shows are that you watch. Where are they from? The music you listen to. Where's that from? The food that you eat. And it shows how we're becoming more and more interconnected. And we'll look at how that impacts you. The final topic you'll do in Year 7 is we'll introduce you to field work. And field work is really exciting for a geographer. Because it's based around an inquiry. Your inquiry will be 
how do microclimates vary around the school site. But more importantly than that, you'll be able to then do some research, make some recommendations to myself and senior members of staff at the school as to where you would uh, make improvements at the Garibaldi School. Where are you going to put that extra bench? Where are you going to put those washing lines based on the research that you do? And this is really important that you take part in the whole process because further down the line, we'll take you to the Holderness Coast and we'll look at how human actions are affecting physical processes there. We'll take you into the Nottingham City Centre and then through the meadows to West Bridgeford to have a look at how the quality of life varies and the reasons for this. And all this work that we do will make you feel really clever so that actually you can continue into GCSE geography. And if you look at some of the topics, well actually we cover some of those things in year 7. We're ambitious for you, so we get you to look at uh, physical landscapes in the UK. We get you to make issue evaluation or decision making exercises. We do field work early, so we cover a lot of topics that actually could well end up on your GCSE paper in year 7. It could go further into A-level geography because that's part of this seven year journey we have a really successful A-level department. It seems a long way off for you now, but that passion and enthusiasm might take you into A-levels and who knows, even onto university and beyond. So, what we want for you is to come to Garibaldi School, love your geography lessons, get involved in the learning, learn new things every lesson, be able to answer a new question each time. Become knowledgeable, be challenged, and become an outstanding geographer so that you understand the world in which you live and actually are still curious when you've left us. I really look forward to seeing you all in Year 7. And until then, take really good care of yourselves. And I hope this video has answered some of your questions about geography at the Garibaldi School. Take care.